Next, we're going to do a binding on a mesh pocket. Mesh is a little bit different from quilted fabric or vinyl in that it has a lot of stretch or a little bit of stretch. So it's going to stretch a little bit as I go. It also doesn't have really nicely defined edges. I've got holes in between here. So it's a little bit more problematic to sew because you can't see your really nice edge. My trick to sewing mesh pockets is to put my binding on the bottom and my mesh on the top so that I can see more easily where my edge is. Then I'm going to put it under my needle and again do my quarter inch seam. Then once I've got it sewn, I want to press that around to the other side. But here you're going to see one of the problems again with mesh. As I go to turn this around to the outside, my whole piece of fabric wants to move with it. My goal here is to get that pressed up so that the, when this comes over it, it covers it. I don't really want to take this to my ironing board to press this because then I'm going to end up pressing a, a crisp edge on my binding, which I don't want. So the stiletto and pressing tool comes in handy because I can use the pressing tool in to press this seam. So I just take this and run it along the very edge of my mesh, pushing my mesh up towards my binding. And then I'll usually flip it over and do the same thing on the back so I make sure that I get that pressed up nicely. Just makes everything so much easier to fold over and, and cover those edges. Then I'm ready to fold my edge over and stitch my binding down. Now you could use some wonder clips or pins to hold that in place. I'm usually uh, in a little bit of a hurry and don't want to to mess with that step so I just use my finger to fold those in and my stiletto to hold this in place. Again you can see how I can move my binding where I need it to be. The rough edge on the tip of the stiletto holds it in place and I can get it lined up just where I want it. And there we have a beautifully bound mesh pocket.